Thanks for tuning in. This is Asthma Tech. Today I'm here to talk about an issue that some of us are having with certain infotainment systems and a product that aims to solve it. In this particular case, I'm talking about my 2022 Hyundai Kona Ultimate, as well as their other 2019 and up models. Some of you may know, but I'm guessing a lot of you likely uh, don't, is that Hyundai does have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. However, this is limited to the lower and mid trims only. They made the very strange and baffling decision not to include it in the up screen, in the up trim widescreen systems in the Ultimate here in Canada or the limited trim in the US. This makes no sense. And as far as I'm able to discover by repeated communications with Hyundai, it physically lacks the Wi Fi hardware to do it and thus cannot be enabled at a later date with a software update. Now, I love my Android Auto, and it gets better with every new version, but I find it a huge pain in the ass to connect it via cable every time I get in the car, sometimes even forgetting my phone in the console when I get out. So I kind of really wish it had the wireless option, and this is where our product today comes into play. <clears throat> the Carsify Wireless Android Dongle. And there it is right there. It's very tiny. And um, <clears throat> this is for Android only. It doesn't work for Apple CarPlay. This device acts as a middleman of sorts. It makes your car believe the dongle is your phone attached with a cable while making your phone think to Carsify is your vehicle's infotainment system. Obviously, this is a vast oversimplification, but that's kind of the gist of it. You use a companion app from the Google Play Store for initial setup and firmware updates for the dongle itself. However, after you have it all up and running, the app's no longer needed and you can actually uninstall it. I wouldn't recommend it though due to the aforementioned ability to update the car suffice firmware. The setup is pretty simple and straightforward. You start your car to prevent battery rundown, plug in the car suffice. Wait for the LED to turn blue, fire up your app, while making sure your phone's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are both turned on and follow the prompts. Now I had to change a couple of settings to get it to work properly in my vehicle, uh, namely disabling intercept AA protocols and turning on auto USB detection. And when the LED turns solid green, you're good to go. You, uh, the first, first connection can take a couple of minutes as the dongle and your phone discover and adapt to your specific entertainment system. Once everything is connected, just test it with some media and a few Google Assistant commands. Uh, then I recommend doing a cold start of your vehicle just to see how long it's actually going to take to connect and set up. Um, turn your car off for a few minutes. For example, my Kona continues to power the USB port for five minutes after shutting the vehicle down. Then start it up again and you'll see the connection only takes about 15 to 20 seconds. I'll plug it in right now and I'll show you that. All right, it's plugged in. And you will see my Android Auto pop up here in a few seconds once it's ready. And that actually glitched out while I was uh, recording but it only took about 12 seconds. So it's connected now. And there we go. So yeah, it is working fine. Um, what do I think about this device from Carsify? I love it. Now my phone can stay in my pocket where it belongs. All features work perfectly. In the week that I've been using it, I've only had two very brief audio hiccups. Kind of like a CD skip, if you actually remember what those sound like. <laughs> There's no lag to the inputs, and I can't tell the difference in sound quality between this and the wired, ver wired connection. However, it definitely does sound better than Bluetooth. All in all, I think this Carsify wireless Android auto device is an excellent choice to solve the problem that Hyundai created with these up-trim entertainment systems and other brands' vehicles without the wireless option built in. Now, to be completely clear, this does not add Android auto to your car. 
it just adds the wireless ability. Your vehicle must have wired Android Auto built in for this to work. This is in no way a sponsored video, but if you think this might be a good match for you, for, for you and your needs, then the link to pick one up is in the description. And for now, take care and thanks for watching.